What if there were a diet, or shall we say a lifestyle, that actually could make you look younger, feel younger, take away your arthritis, take away your back pain, take away inflammation, take away heart disease, take away cancer, and just make you just feel like a young pup again? And what if it was actually scientifically proven? Would you actually try it? Would you give it a try? I'm asking you to give it a try. So actually I've been doing this diet for five years. Yes, this is Casey from Casey's Keto Life and I do keto, but I've actually always done Mediterranean keto because I'm Italian and Mediterranean. So it just makes sense to me. But that being said, I do a ton of Tex-Mex recipes because they're my absolute faves. So, please hit subscribe. I just love you guys. Thank you so much for following me. I am transitioning career from being a full-time teacher to being a full-time teacher of people to be more healthy. And I do have my cats and they do have quite expensive catnip habits. So please just subscribe to my channel and help support that. So this is just kind of what I pulled out of the pantry and this is what a Mediterranean keto-ish diet looks like. Now I will have to tell you there's, if you hit subscribe to my channel and I'm going to be writing e-courses this summer to give you specific recipes and meal plans, I did lose um, 45 pounds of weight five years ago and I think the most amazing thing is that at the age of 55, still able to maintain that weight loss. And as we all know, it was right there. It's just the way it always does. But anyhow, um, I started bodybuilding and I realized that with the ketogenic diet, there was getting to be a problem. I couldn't eat enough carbs to have enough glycogen for my muscles so that I could exercise to the way I needed to exercise. So this is what I eat. I literally pulled all of this out of my refrigerator. And again, there's lots and lots of recipes. So on a Mediterranean keto diet, you're going to want to eat between 50 to 100 grams of carbs a day. Now that being said, like today I ate an English muffin. Yum, it was 30 grams. So that was a special treat. You wouldn't want to eat that every day. So you definitely have to eliminate the sugar. This is a gluten-free diet. Gluten is so dangerous and so bad for your body, so bad for your brain. I think it's implicated in causing Alzheimer's disease. So please, you know, just keep avoiding that gluten. I have problems a little bit with a strict keto diet because I feel it's a little bit too heavy on the fats and dairy. And as we get older, we definitely want to be careful and cautious of those things. So this diet has some dairy, but not a ton. It is not vegetarian, but could be very easily adapted to be. So anyhow, you can eat pretty much any vegetables you want. Um, I do even eat sweet potatoes and I'll eat squash and sweet potatoes. I will not eat them every day because they're a little bit higher on the carbs, but I will eat them definitely for once a week, rare treat. So zucchini, anytime you want. I did not have eggplant in my refrigerator, eggplant. I'm gonna make some stuffed portobello mushrooms. So again, hit subscribe and get those recipes. Peppers are just those antioxidants preventing cancer, love those. Onions, pretty much I cook every meal with onions and I do a lot of Spanish and Tex-Mex recipes, so you can see why. Jalapenos, they're in the fridge. I do not pull them out. Garlic, garlic is a huge antioxidant. I do a lot of garlic. Red cabbage, I did not have a chance to go shopping today, but every day I do eat a big salad, fresh spinach or kale. And so I'm always, every day, gonna put some shredded carrots and the red cabbage on that. Tomatoes, oh, they're just the most awesome, amazing part of that, he's joining us, of that Mediterranean diet. So that's just really key and critical, getting all those antioxidants. Now fruit, typically your keto people, so you can't eat fruit. Please do not eat your fruit. That's like a banana um, that has too much sugar, apples. I eat mango, a little bit of mango there. I eat berries, I do eat blueberries, but I've already eaten them all. Blackberries, blueberries, love strawberries, and I will eat them with cottage cheese or Greek yogurt. So 
gonna do my dairy, it's gonna be my cottage cheese that's from yogurt or Aldi's, whichever one you prefer. And then Greek yogurt, I can make a smoothie with the fruit and add a little bit more whey protein. So I'm just like pulled everything out of my refrigerator and what have I not gone over? Salsa, I love salsa. And that's a mango salsa and I will, because this is not strict keto, I'm not in ketosis, I will eat these authentic gluten-free chips with some salsa, but even better yet, because this is a high protein diet, you should aim to get one gram of protein per body weight. So I'm sorry, like that can be a lot for some people. Definitely do not want to exceed 200 grams of protein. So I want to be very careful about that because that could cause some kidney damage. But even so, like I almost never come close to that goal. It's just a lot, it's just really a lot. But one of the ways I have found, and this is very Mediterranean, is sardines. Oh, love them. Great as I'm a camping, hiking girl, these are very accessible to take on any of those trips. I make a lot of dips. So I make a lot of artichoke dip. Love that, and I'll eat that on the corn chips. That's my snack. I do fast, because fasting has been proven to expand our lifespans by 20 years. So I do the continue fasting, and that's super important to me. So I do a one meal at noon, I just snack at five, and then I eat my later meal later in the evening. Um, what else do I have here? Pickles. I do pickles, can use as many pickles as I want to. Yum. I will put my pickles in my chicken salad. I love these cans of chicken breast because it's 40 grams of protein. You can make chicken salad or just kind of like whatever you're in the mood for. You can eat as many olives as you want, of course. Um, olive oil, you're going to use a ton of olive oil. I buy my olive oil at Sam's Club. I have found that to be the least expensive version. Definitely buy a name brand. And when you put it like in one of these little mustard things where you can just kind of squeeze it, it's definitely a lot more easy to put it on your vegetables and such. Um, nuts, I didn't have a whole bunch of nuts, but there are some pecans that I can put on top of a salad. Cheese, again, cheese is not going to be as big a part of my diet as it was when I was doing more strict keto, but I do enjoy cheese and it's definitely more like with a dinner and not so much a larger part of the diet. I have discovered this black soybean spaghetti, so follow me and I'm gonna be making meatballs and sausage and spaghetti. I'm gonna either do some zoo noodles, love those, or also showing you that these don't have that many carbohydrates, just 19 grams. That's definitely within my 50 to 100 grams of carbohydrates. So I can definitely eat these guys and they are major yum. Love them. Um, oatmeal, yeah, I can eat oatmeal. It does have a higher amount of carbohydrates, but this is just something I'm gonna eat once a week. I do feel like it's nice to have a little bit of oatmeal every once in a while. Um, this is my little, I know it's just, ah, these french fried onions. I get them at Aldi's, they're super cheap, and guess what? They don't have an excessive amount of ingredients, so they're still very much whole foods. Sprinkling them on my salad, and guess what, the carbs, two grams. Isn't that amazing? I sprinkle them on my salad every day. It's my salad, just kind of like whatever I have mushrooms or tomatoes. I do the low fat dressing. So I'm not doing as high fat as I did when I did keto. Now that being said, if you just like really want to lose a lot of weight very quickly and then get ketosis, do it for a couple weeks, but it's not very sustainable. So come on back to the Mediterranean with a keto twist. Eggs, you know, I eat an egg a day. So eggs are just amazing, wonderful for you. I do a lot of citrus fruit, of course, you know, limes, lemons, a little bit of orange after I work out. So I think I basically got everything covered. Um, seasoning, oh my gosh, I just love this. Hot chili sauce, sriracha, love it. I put on everything, it's so yum. I can do salsa, sriracha mayo, and I do a lot of full fat mayonnaise. So this diet is amazing. Oh. The best thing, the best thing that I did not show you guys yet, but 
Oh, it is, you definitely need a fish oil supplement in case you don't get enough salmon. As far as meats, definitely I just do chicken thighs, organic, salmon, shrimp, and then any sort of canned meats. No, that actually wasn't the best thing. Um, wine, yes, you can drink wine on this diet. It's amazing and wonderful. I drink a little bit every night. It just helps me sleep better. Um, fish oil supplements, in case you didn't get enough fish that day, I love this fish oil plus D3. Oh, my favorite little trick I have discovered is these pumpkin seed oil capsules. There's going to be another upcoming video, like how to make your hair and skin just look absolutely amazing. So I hope that this video has really helped you to learn about the Mediterranean diet and how it can just make you such a healthier person, but most importantly, make you feel younger and make you like just the best person that you could ever be.